crafty people. We're gonna ink on some watercolor paper. I've inked on watercolor paper before. It works. It works. It works. But I got a couple tips for you. But let me get a drink of coffee first. Okay. Got to do some more sipping. Hmm. All right. So we're just gonna craft because Sherry needs to get crafty. This is so cute. I got this from Dollar General. And it's an interchangeable one frame, two double sided prints. And these are actually really, really cute. I would put this like on my little table just the way it is. I'm telling you. And then you get like thankful and then you get like this, this cute little type. See, they're interchangeable. I was playing around with just watercolor paper because I like this simple. See that? See how you can do the words and you can change this up. But we're gonna use some of the Ray Dunn words or the fall words from Magnolia Design Co. I'm gonna try using this mini plaid, but I don't know, we'll see. I am not gonna be using the Magnolia ink though. I'm going to be using Speedball just because I like how it sets up. It doesn't, it isn't sticky, but it is a little thinner. I already cut one of these out to like play with, but I'm gonna show you what I did. This is some premium watercolor paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I have a sheet of this. I just took one of these and I went to the edges like this. See that there? That hoo ha ha, ha ha hoo ha. Okay. And then I just lined it up with the edges and did my little lines. So then you cut it out. Do not cut on the line though, because if I cut on the line, it's on the outside and it doesn't fit as well. I need to cut on the inside of the line. That's what I learned. So this is my tip. And see, look at, isn't that cool? So then the other thing I learned, I used a pencil and I just made a mark, just a mark there and a mark down here for if I'm putting words. So I don't know if you can see that, but see, this is the frame. Cause if I don't do that, if I would have went clear up to the edge here, then it would be hidden by the frame. Does that make sense? And I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I want to do two of them. One of them is just going to be really simple. I just want one that says family. Let me see if I can, you'd think that I would have had them like out already, but I didn't. Okay. We're going to use Thanksgiving cause I want to make something with that. Okay. There's family. So we're going to do those. We'll do the family one first so I can show you cause I have a couple tips with this. You want to press hard on the stencil, but when I'm squeegeeing through, if I push hard, there's a greater chance with the speedball ink that it will bleed. Looks very, very good. So you get a better end product if you just go one direction. It's just really simple and cute. Okay, so this one we're gonna do in the middle. Tonight. See how cute that is? I just think it's adorable. I don't know how this is gonna work. Let me dry this just a little bit. This is what I'm thinking. And yes, I'm gonna make a mess. I think I should do, should I do plaid at the top too? I think it's cute though. Isn't that cute? I am going to quickly dry this as best I can and then we'll put it in here. Ooh. I know this will wrinkle my paper. Just The heat gun will wrinkle my paper just a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys. Isn't that stinking cute? You all have a blessed one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.